Hello guys, it's me, Max and Seppin, you guys another video. Well, uh, sorry I haven't uploaded shit. Uh, lately I've been uh, recording for Pokemon Uranium, and so I'll have the first episode out shortly after I upload this one. But I want to talk about what, uh, what I've been getting into lately. Lately I've been getting into Magic the Gathering, this is my deck box. Leather. And, um, so I thought of introducing Magic the Gathering content on my channel. So, you guys will be seeing that. Hold on, guys. Oh, yo, chill. It's been a hot day. So, yeah. Hold on, let me guys show you my deck. Um, how I play Magic the Gathering is, is that I use a water, no, not a water. Pfft, that was my old. But, uh, I use a light and a fire, fire for attack, and, uh, attacking directly to the opponent and light for uh to gain health and put monsters on the field for defense and stuff like that oh uh, hold on just let me take out my deck hold on because in my deck box i have like my cards and like cards i trade start off my deck so i got mentor skull cleaver dragon mantle uh, basically in my deck, actually these are the cards I have to like take out my in my deck. Um, Goblin Boom C Craig, Keg, gotta get that out my deck. Inspire Charge out my deck. But um, guys, I got a Legendary God card in Chairman. I got Oraz, uh, wait, Oraz the God of Victory. So yeah, I don't use them when I duel my friends because they don't have God cards and they think it's like uh, pathetic, but. I use it if it comes to like competitive. Um, it has indestructible and this uh, details are as long as you, ha as long as your devotion isn't uh, to red and white isn't less than seven, then Oras is in the creatures. Creatures you control cannot be blocked except by two or more creatures. Prevent all damage that would have been dealt to attack creatures you control. All right. So yeah, as my colors, uh, red and white. Spirit of the Liberan. Woo! Actually, I have to make a separate pile for the one shot out. Use. Okay, I don't use that. Okay, I use that. Honor, uh, honor's reward. Rise to the challenge. Lightning strike. I use this a lot. I'm when I do my friends. I'm known. I'm normally known for my lava axes and my lightning strikes. Cause, yeah, that's how I take them out. Nomad's Post, Outpost, oh, Foot Hoof Cavalry, Guardians of Metris, Impetu Impetuous Sun Chaser, Defiant Ogre, wait, do I have two Inspire Charge? Oh, I have to get rid of one. Well, uh, next to Inspire Charge, Exonerate, wait, is it Exonerate? Exonerate, I think. I don't know my English, guys. I'm sorry. Um, Divine Verdict. Uh, Fauna Vigor. Man, White Mana Plains. Lava Axis is what I'm basically known for. Aegis Angel. Aegis. Red Mana or Mountain. Chariot of Victory. I don't know. I should get this out of my deck. Because, uh... Ain't really, I'm not really using this. I use this a lot for my weak creatures. Last breath. So basically, if I'm going low on eight uh, life points, I can basically exile one of my creatures and it'll give me four life. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, mana, mana, whoop, trumpet blast, triumph, trumpet. Okay, mana, mana, lightning strike, red mana, elite skirmish. Sun Grace Pegasus. I like this because that's flying in uh, life link. And life link, when you hit an opponent, opponent, you get back the life, uh, the life that you dealt. So basically, if I attack you with five, I get back five life. So yeah, that's how it works. Red mana, Ashen Cleric. Once it, uh, once it enters the battlefield, you gain three life, which is really nice. Red mana, Lava Axe, Whoop. As Blaster and Curin. Red mana, white mana, bathing dragon fire. Basically, this is a sorcery card. If I use this, I can just spill da uh, four damage to your target creature. 
and it saves me a lot because say if I have no monsters and your opponent has a strong creature, you use it on that. If it deals damage, kills it, you know you be you be in the safe zone. So that's why I have it in my deck. Evolving Wild, sacrifice this and look for your look in your library or deck for a mana. Or get it out, put it tap, so, uh, put this in the graveyard and shuffle your library. Lightning Strike, Revolt Existence. I use this to get rid of enchantments or uh, artifacts. Because some artifacts are really tricky. Because my friend has the Whip of Erebos. And the Whip of Erebos gives lifelink to all his creatures. So yeah. That's a uh, big no-no to me. Mana, mana. Monastery Swift Fear. That has... Uh, I use this. It's like... Base, this card is basically ideal for your first hand. Because it only takes one mana to summon out. And it has haste. Haste. It doesn't like suffer through summon sickness. So you can basically attack when you summon it. So yeah. Two more, wait, two more battle rage. Uh, target creature gains double strike till end of turn. Froch is a creature that also gains trample on the end of turn if you control a creature with the power of four and greater. So I have this and used it once, but uh, yeah, mana, magna jet. Uh, magna jet deals two damage to target creature or player. Scry two cards. Scry means to look on top of your library. Look at the card. If you like it, put it on top. If you don't, put it in the bottom. It gives you a way to control your deck and how your hand is going to look like for future rounds. So that's why I have in my deck. Seismic Strike. I should get rid of this card because I don't use it. Seismic Talk deals uh, damage to target creature equal to the amount of mountains you control. And I have like around like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 mountains in my deck. Juggernaug. I use this. Juggernaug's, Juggernaug. Uh, Juggernaut. Attacks can can attack if able. Juggernauts can now be blocked by walls. Lightning strike, red mana, 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 bath and bathe in dragonfire. That's what I told you. Oh, I got this through a promo thingy. Angelic skirmish. So let you guys see. This is the promo card. You guys can read that. Uh, yeah. Flame Speaker Spiel, uh, you create enchanted creature that one gets one one crowner. Uh, sacrifice this enchantment to uh, get rid of an uh, chant of a what? Or of a, a target artifact. So yeah, Appling Unicorn. I never get this in my hand, so yeah. Mana, mana, mana. Ooh, Bolt of Chronos. Bolt of Chronos does three damage to a target creature or player. Sky one card. So yeah. Cool art though, look at it. <laughs> and Seria Angel, Flying a Vigilance. Oh, wait. Vigilance. Attacking does not cause it to tap. So, since you guys had a. Hold on, guys. Since you guys had a look at my deck, I'm gonna basically explain the game to you guys so that you guys don't know how to play. I'm kind of a rookie myself, so I, uh, I'm not one to talk, but um, I'll help you out. Also, I went to Walmart to go buy. Um, to go buy um, a deck builder so I can show you guys, but I already opened in the car, opened the three booster packs, but I didn't open anything else, so I can still show you that. These boost, I got this card from um, one of those three booster pack deals they have in stores, but I can open these. All right, if you guys really want me to open these, please leave it in the comments below. We got Born of Gods, Junior Nix, and 2015 Corn Set. Core Set. I'm really, I'm really curious what's in here. If you guys don't want me to open them, then I just sell them to school and uh, everyone's content. Hold on. If you guys want to get, if you Pokemon fans want to get into uh, Magic the Gathering, so I'll just leave you a video in the description below how to play Magic the Gathering and everything else. And if you guys want to purchase anything, I'll probably leave a link so you guys can like buy decks or shit. Uh, when I got into Magic the Gathering, I actually bought a. I bought an intro deck. Uh, my first colors were red and blue, and what I discovered about blue was it was kind of um, didn't work out for me. Like you know, I'm about that counter attack, but blue, yeah, blue cost cost too much mana, so I didn't want to do it. So I switched to white because uh, I don't know, white gives you life, and like I'm from Peru, and like the colors are red, white, red. So yeah. Um. Basically, you need mana to summon your creatures. If you have a right enough mana, you can summon it. 
also goes with enchantments, artifacts, uh, sorcery spells, spells, you know, in general. Uh, red, tack, creature, water for counter, and like, yeah. Black for like, mischievous, like if you want to fuck, like, you know, play around with the, uh, play around with the target, but black is pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. I would make a black deck, um, a black has death touch and life, uh, life link, which is pretty good, and green is for like more creatures out on the field, that's, that's what I've seen for my friend's deck, and, um, what color am I forgetting? White for healing and to gain life. Uh, I think that's it. Red, white, black, green, red, blue. All right. So without further to do, I do. I already opened this in the car, but I didn't fully open it, so I'm gonna show you guys. Magic the Gathering Corset 2015. Looks pretty sweet. And this is the box that you get. So I'm gonna open it up. This is how it looks like. Something like that. It comes with three booster packs, but I already opened that. So I'm just gonna get the cards that are already open. So Magic the Gathering is pretty different than Pokemon because in Pokemon they give you like seven cards, but in the booster packs of Magic the Gathering they give you 15. And yeah, so uh, actually I'm not gonna go through the, um, the easy stuff. I'm just gonna show you guys the ones that I. Uh, the uncommons and the the rares. Oh, uh, hold on. All right, so you got your uncommons. You got ordeal of Nelia, Sealock monster. Hold on. Damn, this is pretty ass. Then you got the cloth of Arcos, a uh, golem and an artifact creature. So this is pretty good. Think about putting this in my deck because it has. T uh, 10 power and 10 toughness, which is pretty nice. Okay, hold on. Actually, I'm about to add this in my deck. Every time this, every time you attack and it comes untapped, like after like a turn, you gain like how much life? Two life. So that's pretty good. So that's like a bonus. You attack and you gain life. So yeah. Okay, so here's your uncommons. It's really hard. Arch type of imagination, thunder brute, and bio. Blight. Those are your uncommons. I think this was from uh, Born of Gods. I think that booster pack. Cause basically, I'm gonna get like the Thero set, like Theros, Born of Gods, and Journey Nyx. So yeah, this is my rare Epitha, the God of Polis. It's a mythic. See, you see that red right here? It means uh, from what set it is, and if it's like red, it's mythic rare. That means it's like really rare. Like, like how rare is like um. It's probably like a mega, like a EX or a mega EX. So yeah, actually no, the mega EX Pokemon are like um, Clan Walkers, which I don't have at the moment right now. So yeah, guys. Um, let me show you guys. Oh, be... Okay, so we got Screeching Leeches, Wildfire Siberius, and Deserted Quarters for our uncommons. We got for our mythic rare from one of the sets. I got Corypse, the god of Horizon, Horizons, which is pretty good. It's a water and grass, um, water and grass. So that's pretty good. Uh, hold on. Oh, from this set, from. From the uncommons, we got two more crits. Uh, then Paragon of Open Graves and Nicogenera Shutter, I think. Then for our rare, which I was kind of disappointed in, I got Aggressive Mining. You cannot play lands. Sacrifice a land. You draw two cards. Activate this ability only once each turn. Which is really dumb, if you ask me, but some people play that. Then at the end of each booster pack, you get like a token, then it tells you where to play magic at your local toy store, so yeah. Better organize everything back, because 
I think it was looking mad nice. All right, so got that out the way. It's those three booster packs, and it comes with a lot of these. Which I think I can open right now. Excuse me. So, open this pack. No, all right, guys, hold on. Woo! Tape is being really. Fucking stupid, guys. Alright, I guess Angel. Oh, actually, I think they already come like this. Mohamed Jean. Nightmare. Sh Silver Dragon. Which is rare. Tala Stomper. If it has like that gold thing, that means it's rare. And what set it's from? The Unrares. Little Pegasus. Actually, I don't know how. I'm... Wait a minute. Ah, I gotta get a camera because I can't do. I can't do this BS. So. Hold on, in this, in this, what was it? In this, you get like all the creatures, so you could start build, building your deck, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna take that. And actually, I might do a giveaway. My friend makes, uh, my friend photoshopped a picture of my head onto this card, said it looked like me. So, I, yeah. So basically, it just gives you cards. It just gives you a lot of cards. We got one out the way. It has rare. It goes by rares, uncommons, and all commons. This I don't want to open because I think it has all the mana you need to have in your deck in order to summon, or chant, or whatever you got to do. Get that out. Revolving Wilds. I'm always so. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna open this one. Because this could be mana too, so I'm not gonna risk that. Alright, we got that, got that BS out the way. Chronos Enforcer, Reclamation Slate, Sage. Uh, actually, these all have green. Green. Red, green. Oh, you got some. Uh, you got some artifacts, which is pretty good. Okay. And you got some pl plains. You got some swamp, mountains, forest, plains, islands, and all these are 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 uh, all these are like all these are. Uh, Oh, those are like monsters and artifacts and all of them are just mana and we have this one which I don't or I'm gonna open it because yeah wow. okay Robin Wilds Stone Shock Giant wow that's pretty good wow you just silverback that's nice uh Ooh, they have some Born of Gods set in here. Wait, I'm pretty happy. Um, they have Bloodkeeper sh Shaman? No, it looks pretty ass. Oh my god! Probably add that to my deck. Probably, probably. Ooh. The Gathering, please check out the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and this will be on, like, every time I go out and I buy Magic the Gathering content or Pokemon content, I will take a picture of it and put it on Twitter, and to, like, sneak peek, you guys. So, um...
Yeah, that's about it. There's, there's nothing left in the box. Nope. This is the box. You can put all your cards in. And, um... What's this? Wait. Oh, no. This is... This is a Theros... Theros thing. Alright. Also, this costs 16... 15 bucks in stores and the deck builder said it costs 20 so I think it's like good uh, but in order to make your deck builder you guys have to continue buying booster packs because that's how I got my god card because one day I was out with me and my friend and we opened booster packs and he got it in his deck in his pack I was like he was like yo he showed me I was like yo bro you have to give it to me because like you know that's my color he was like alright so since then um, yeah so that yeah so when you get to Magic the Gathering, it's pretty fun, and it's fun if you play with your friends and everything. That's I enjoy playing with my friends. So guys, we Magic stuff here. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't I don't know. Don't forget to check out the links if you guys want to play. If you Pokemon fans want to play. So guys, see you guys next time, and bam.